Hey guys, Steve and I are in an elevator. We're going to see Iris. This Iris. There was no power, nothing. We were going back and forth, um, helping people. And then after that, it was like trees falling, all the electrical stuff are falling down. And it's like, it's hard for us because we lost everything. This is what I had, my only uniform that I had. But God is great. He is great. He saved us. Now that video was taken September of 2023. She had returned to work less than two days after the fire. She had no choice. And we made a donation to her last year and we put up her uh, Venmo account. Folks, she has had four heart attacks, a toe amputated, and three broken vertebrae in her back and been moved four times since I saw her last. And guess what? Iris is still smiling. She's smiling away. She's still smiling. It was a blessing to see her. Please watch this video all the way through to see how, if you could send her even a dollar. It's going directly to her. She is a lovely lady, folks, and she got saved on my last mission trip. So come on, Jesus. Hello, everybody. You guys remember Iris, so we came to visit with her. I'm gonna turn the camera around so she can talk to you guys. The last time I saw you, you were working at the ABC store. Okay. It was literally five weeks after the fires. You guys were living in a different place then. Mm -hmm. You said this is your third place to move to, and you've been here four months. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I heard FEMA is fixing to stop paying rent. Is that true? Yes. What is everybody gonna do? I have no idea. For us, they told us if we're el eligible to stay here for like a long time place, right after the February 10th, they're gonna let us know how much we can pay. It's within how much we're able to pay. Okay. So it's between $50 to $300. A night? Uh, a month. A month, that's not bad. Yeah, a month. That's not really, so they're gonna do like a sliding scale then for mm -hmm. people based on income. That's awesome. Yeah. Because something changed for you in the last, what, the last year you had a foot, like toes amputated. Yeah. So what happened? Right after the fire, um, the there was another fire starting right above the western, so they had us evacuate. So the shoes that I was wearing, we had needed to walk at least like out of the building. I had so much stress. I started with a blister on my left side. I went to the doctors. They fixed it. They gave me antibiotics and then. I came to put in it so it healed. Two weeks later, I got it on my right side. They did the same thing, but it didn't work. It got um, infected and it was going on my foot. So oh right gosh. before um, I went to the ER, because uh, they sent from Maui Lani, they sent me there so they can help me with the infection. So right as they go, we're gonna do the minor surgery. I got four heart attacks <gasps> before the they couldn't do it because they didn't check my heart. I, they didn't check anything. They just went for it. Oh my so, gosh. They waited three weeks before they could do anything. So by the time my, my toe got I literally lost the everything. So The blood to it. Your blood flow stopped. Yeah. So it literally died. So... But you know what? I'm glad I'm here. God gave me one more chance to live. Yeah, he did. He did. I'm so glad we got to see you this trip. Everybody has asked about you and what's happened to you since the fire. And, you know, I'm hearing stories just like what you're telling. You guys are such survivors here. Because it wasn't just the main fire. There's been multiple fires since mm -hmm. that last year. And so people have been evacuated again, which is like re-traumatizing. Yes. Um, the health problems. My husband's sort of putting in applications to work heavy machinery here to come work on the island. They said the original workers that were cleaning up sort of getting very sick. So they all had to stop working, mm -hmm. you know, like it's been a lot of health problems for the fire victims since then. Yeah. If people wanted to help you guys to donate or just to send Aloha your way, how would they do that? Just like donations, gun foods, whatever they can 
or anything he will take. All right, what about Venmo? Do you still have your same Venmo? Yeah. So it is, let me, I'll pull that up and I'll put it on here. Yeah. All right, guys, up. if you want to donate, this is Iris's personal Venmo. You can use the QR code on your screen or you can just type in at Iris slash Ortez slash 32. Right, so you were telling us you've had like three, three case workers since all of this has happened. Have any of the nonprofits, because you had applied for Oprah as a nonprofit, did they ever get back in touch with you? Um, I applied for it, but then they told me that I was underage, that I didn't qualify. You're an adult. I know. <laughs> Wait, you were like eight? Underage. Underage? Well, I wonder how old you're supposed to be to be an adult here now. That's the thing with the Oprah and the and the Rock. That's what made everybody so yeah. angry. Nobody got that money. My mom did. <gasps> did she? How much yeah. did she get? I mean, I'm not trying to be nosy, but um, I think they were giving them a thousand a, a month. A thousand a month. Well, that's yeah. not bad. Well, thank you but, for that, Oprah. Yeah, but then when I I called, I gave them a call back. I don't know if they messed up on on my birthday or I don't know. What yeah. The, they told me that I was underage, but. <gasps> That's ridiculous. So you guys, y'all didn't hear this while Iris was getting her Venmo information. The bed that she's got here, when she first moved, this one was too high. And I um, called the um, FEMA guys and then they talked to the, to the management of the hotel and then they were nice enough to come down and cut, uh, I think five inches from the bed. So, it's like so it was higher, like five inches higher than it is now yeah. and you're so short. Yeah, so they were able to um, cut the frame. Yeah, and bring it down. Bring it down for me. And then on the bathroom, they they put hand railings for me. When oh. I take a shower, yeah. I can at least have the handles for me to grab. That's right. So I have the um, I have a nurse that comes twice a week to to help me clean my my one. Oh. So she's um, she gave me a shower chair. So I'm able to sit down and then have to hand, the handle started to grab when I'm finishing stuff. Yeah, so. yeah because you shouldn't be able to get that wet yet, huh? Mm -mm. Oh, wow. So when, usually when they take showers, my my husband has to wrap it in a, with a bag. The plastic bags. Yeah. I did that. It was so good to see you. Thank uh, you for calling us and having us come visit you. We missed you so much. I've had, I told my sister when I was just talking to her, she's back on the mainland. And I said, I'm going to see Iris. And she said, wait, Iris from your first trip? I was like, yes, everybody yeah. loves you. I was telling my husband, I was like, I seen my, um, I seen my friend that she was on the island, so she's going to come visit me tomorrow. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I'm glad. Or do, okay, so is anybody that you lived by the first time here with you, or are you alone in this building, like with people that you know? There's a few families that we know that they're here too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because this would be very lonely. This is very different than how y'all lived in Lahaina. Yeah. It's a, uh, because when I was coming up, I was looking at, this is a huge hotel, like 10 floors. And I'm thinking, wow, like I would be lonely. You guys had a really tight community in Lahaina. Mm -hmm. Did y'all make any of the memorial stuff that they did? No. No, it's hard. I know. Nobody, very, very not nobody, very few people that survived the Lahaina fire went to the paddle out. Yeah. It was when some of my friends, they went, so they were live, so I was able to see it streamed. Yeah. Like, you know, I couldn't make it because of my- Your injury. Injury, so I am like, at least I was there in the heart. That's right. So, I know it's like, it's been hard, but God never leave us alone. He's no. always here with us. He is, and you're so sweet. He's he got is. something good for you. After what happened, four heart attacks, he gave me one more chance to live. I know. He's good. He's good, girl. I'm going to use your restroom. But then they're taking applications for the new housing that they're making. So we're able, we were able to apply for one. Right. So they already have me called that our application was approved. <gasps> That's awesome. So they're, they're asking me if we have, like, have a special needs that I need. That they need to make accommodations to. So I told them that I had a wheelchair and I had my walker. Yeah. And then I probably need to like hand the reading the handles for the bathroom. Sure, on um, the bed not too high. 
So they're able to make those accommodations for me. To ahead of time. Ahead of time. That's awesome. That really yeah. is, Iris. I'm glad you guys deserve to be settled and at least start pulling your community back. Are those, are you talking about where they're, you know, you go up the overpass mm -hmm. right by the memorial. You're talking about the buildings to the left that yeah. they're doing. So okay. I wonder, yeah. I'm not sure if those are the ones because I know they're building everywhere everywhere so we're not sure which ones we're they're gonna give let us. you guys have yeah but they started all those when we were here in yeah, october we, well they were already started working on those buildings up there when we was here yeah in october okay. so it's taken them a while a while but it's been almost a year and they're finally getting some permanent housing built for you guys i'm just curious what they're going to do with lahaina if they're going to let people rebuild or if they're going to end up just putting hotels there well, for some, where my parents lived, the the owner of the house where my parents were renting, they're gonna start building pretty soon. So, <gasps> That's awesome. Yeah, so they're, cause right where my parents lived, the owner the owner that bought the house, he barely renewed the house. He re, like re, rebuilt everything where my parents were at. Yeah. He barely fixed the house, and then the fire happened, and <gasps> it got destroyed. Oh wow. Everything was brand new. God, that's, I've been hearing that story over and over again. I met some people that had just bought a brand new house, been in it 16 months when the fire happened, and they lost everything, brand new house. Yeah, so the owner told my, my, my dad, like, right after I build again, you're on my top list that you're coming with me again. Oh, they must have really liked your parents. Yeah. That says a lot. Because like, my mom <laughs> loves to cook. So every time she made something, she always give him food. That's so sweet. So she was feeding him. So he knew he had it good. I wanted to show you guys what a beautiful view Iris has, and well, she you deserves can it. Open the door, you can go outside. Oh, look how, look how beautiful. Uh, it's got a green door. Yeah, it does. So she can actually leave this open. Ooh. Yeah, it does. Look how lovely, you guys. And I'm going to tell you what, Iris deserves to have a beautiful view because she can't get around very well. Do you, are you able to go downstairs by yourself or no? Um, I can use this to like... I'd be cautious too. Yeah. I can see you're kind of like, eh. <laughs> if I have to, I'll go see them. But it's lovely, you guys. Look. Look how pretty. And then, oh, they have these big, beautiful windows in here. And she's got it open for the breeze. That's lovely. This is lovely. And this is one of the only like hotel rooms that I've seen that has like an open walkthrough for her restroom. And she said they were kind enough to come in and put the handles for her here. 